Hello. This is linear equation 6.3, graphing a line using the intercepts. Now an intercept is where the line will cross the axis. So when x is equal to 0, we can find where the y-intercept is. This is where the line will cross right at the y-axis. And for the x-intercept, we have to figure it out for when y is equal to 0. So essentially, if I have an axis like so, so this is my y and my x, and I have a line that bisects both of them. My x-intercept will be right here, so this is y at 0. So my x-intercept, draw that, my x-intercept, and up here will be my y intercept because this is where x is equal to zero so when x is equal to zero y intercept y equals to zero gives me x intercept and as soon as i find both of those points i can just plot them and then draw a line through them and that gives me my line so let's take a look at an example i want to plot the line 2x plus 3y minus 6. So the first thing I have to do is I have to figure out the intercepts. So for my y-intercept, x is going to be equal to 0. So I take the equation, 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0, and I substitute 0 in for x right here. So 2, and I put it in red so you see it, it's now 0, plus 3y minus 6 equals 0. And I'm just going to like rearrange and solve. So bring the 6 over the other side. 3y is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 3. And I get my y-intercept at 2, or positive 2. So my y-intercept will be 0, 2. That's fine. That's great. Now what about for my x-intercept? Now I can just divide it right here. So my x-intercept is going to be when y equals 0. Same equation, but in this case, I now have 2x plus 3y minus 6 equals 0. 2x plus 3, substitute the 0 in for y. Minus 6 equals 0. Oh, equals 0. And now I have 3 times 0, so I have 2x minus 6 equal to 0. Solve 2x, 6, 2, 2. In this case, x is equal to 3. So my x-intercept is 3, 0. So now I have both of those intercepts. I have my x-intercept and I have my y-intercept. So I can just take those two points, so 0 and 2, go up 2, right there, and then 3 and 0, which is right here, and just draw a line through them. Great. So that's how I can get my line from those two points. Now something else you might be asked to do is, in this case, is to try and find a slope of a line whose x-intercept is 3, in this case, y-intercept is 4. So I can do this a couple ways. I can merely plot out the two points. So x-intercept is 3, right here. y-intercept is 4, and line goes through. And I can figure out rise or rise. Alternatively, I can also apply my slope form. Slope is equal to rise over run which is equal to y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Now, I have two points here. It doesn't look like it, but I actually have two points. My x-intercept is really 3 and 0. My y-intercept is really 0 and 4. So that's my first point. This is my second point. You can also notice that since my line goes down and to the right, 
it should be negative. So we'll keep that in mind as we go through the calculation. So my y2 is going to be 0, and my y1 will be 4. So I have 0, subtract 4. And then I have my x2 is 3, and my x1 is 0. So I'm going to get negative 4 over 3, and the negative sign matches up with what I see also on the graph. And just to check, my rise is going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to run 3, 1, 2, 3, and that matches up to what my slope was. Now graphing with the intercepts, the hardest thing with this is just doing the algebra initially by setting y equal to 0 to find the x-intercept and x equal to 0 to find the y-intercept. So keep that in mind as you do your questions uh, going through this lesson.